How do I choose the right breed for me? If you're looking to get a dog in the future, but don't know which breed would suit you, try asking yourself the following questions. Remember, you can rescue a dog that you may not have considered before by visiting a shelter and explaining your wants and needs to someone who works there. They will know their dog's personalities and should be able to match you to your dream dog. If you are set on getting a specific breed, research breed specific rescue centres as they are available. If you have your heart set on buying a puppy, we will be posting a video about how to choose a good breeder and how to choose your puppy from a litter. Question 1. What size home do I have? If you live in a flat, apartment or small house, you won't have the space for a highly active breed or large dog. If you decide on getting a large or active breed, you must make sure you have provisions in place that they get the exercise and mental stimulation they need. Remember, buying a dog on their looks alone is often the first step to an unhappy relationship. Question 2. Do I have time for a high maintenance routine? If you get a dog that requires a lot of grooming and cleaning, you will have to spend a lot of time, and often a lot of money, taking care of their coat. If you don't have the time or motivation to do this, look for a breed that has a low maintenance coat. Question 3. Am I house proud? Getting a dog that drools a lot, sheds a lot, or if you have people who suffer from allergies, can be detrimental to a clean house. Consider if you have the patience to keep wiping the drool from your dog's mouth, warning guests to not approach the dog unless they want to be covered in drool, and constantly cleaning your house to remove the drool stains. The same goes for dogs that shed a lot. Your clothes and furniture will be covered in dog's hair, and you will have to brush your dog more often while they're shedding. Question 4. Am I an active person? Most dogs will need an hour's walk a day on average. Smaller breeds tend to need a little less. Active dogs will need considerably more and will need mental stimulation as well. Teaching tricks and agility are good ways to drain some of that energy, but it is a big commitment. Think objectively about whether you have the motivation to work with your dog or if you'd rather just chill on the sofa with your pet. Question 5. Do I have any children? Having young children in the house can often result in hardship on the dog. If you get a large breed, you run the risk of them knocking a small child over if they get overexcited. Smaller breeds tend to not be as patient with children and are more fragile. Keep in mind that the average dog lives 10 to 15 years. If you do not have children now, but are planning to have children within that time limit, you must be prepared to put in the training with your dog so they don't get jealous or overexcited when the children play. Question 6. Do I want a watchdog? Do you want a dog that will sound the alarm if they hear a noise or be a friendly face to greet your visitors? Dogs that bark for every little noise can be irritating for you and your neighbours, but may put your mind at rest if you feel a barking dog will warn against intruders. Question 7. What do I want from my dog? This is the most important question. Do you want to partake in a variety of dog-related activities like heel work to music, agility, training tricks, etc? Or would you rather just have a dog to stroll around with that will keep you company and you can spoil. Or a combination of the two. Make a list of all the things you want to do with your dog, even if it's just a case of taking him to the park to play fetch. Once you've answered all the questions above, try to find the common denominator to see which breed or group would suit your lifestyle and personality. Dogs 101, shown on Animal Planet or found on the internet, goes through the most common breeds and shows you exactly what they require. I would suggest looking through these too to see what you like. There are plenty of interactive questionnaires online that you can enter this information into and it will give you a list of which breeds it thinks is best. There are a few of these in the description box that I've tried and I've come up with accurate results. Remember to subscribe to Adimus Dog Services for more videos and tutorials.